What precautions or post-op care you should take after the breast reduction surgery in order to have a smooth recovery? Hi everyone, I am Dr. Ranshu Mishra. I am a board certified cosmetic and plastic surgeon practicing in Dubai. And today in this video, let me take you through the different phases of recovery after the breast reduction surgery. Let me begin with the early phase which starts immediately after your surgery. So when you will wake up after your surgery, you will see a tight dressing on your chest and you will also see a compressive or a surgical bra. This basically helps in keeping your breast supported. You may also find uh, the drain or a pipe which may come out of your incisions. This drains and pipes help in removal of the accumulated body fluids in the area of the breast. This procedure is done under general anesthesia and you will stay in the hospital overnight and will be discharged the next morning. You will be prescribed pain medications as there will be mild to moderate pain for at least one week after the breast reduction surgery and painkillers can easily take care of that. During the first week of your surgery, you should uh, eat healthy food, you should drink plenty of water and you shouldn't strain yourself. You should walk slowly and you should not do strenuous activities. I generally ask my patients to come back for the OPD visit after the third day of the surgery in order to inspect the incision lines. While this protocol may vary according to the doctor's preference, so during the visit in the OPD, the inspection of the suture line is done, the dressing is changed and further instructions for the care is given. You should sleep on your back for at least two to three weeks after the surgery. Well, this is a tough part if you have this habit of sleeping on your tummy. By three weeks, you will notice most of the bruising has subsided and most of the swelling has gone. And this is the time when you will enjoy the result of your breast reduction surgery and you will feel the weight uh, literally taken off of your shoulders. During this time, your incision lines may look pink or brown and they may be firm to touch. And this is the time when you should start with the scar management protocols. You should massage the incision lines with the silicone gel and you may also use the silicone gel sheets to improve your scars so that gradually they fade away and become inconspicuous. Now sometimes in a breast reduction surgery, particularly if it's been done in a heavy breast and an inverted T technique or incision is being given, then a small area at the T junction may heal slightly late and there may be a delayed healing and a small raw area but it can be easily taken care of by the regular dressings with the antimicrobial agent. You can consult your doctor if you face any such problem for a proper guidance. So after one month which is a later phase you can gradually increase your activities, um, you can start with light exercises but don't forget to wear your supportive bra during the workouts. You will notice some numbness in the sides of your breast over the nipple areola complex but it will gradually improve in the next 3-4 to four months of time whereas in some cases the numbness in the nipple areola complex may persist. You may feel bumps on your breast while palpation, but this uh, hardness and bumpiness will take another three to four months to subside. It usually takes around an year for the scars to fade away and to become inconspicuous. You should be taking care of your scars very regularly in order to have the good outcome. Breast reduction surgery is a very gratifying surgery as it relieves the pressure off your shoulders. I hope I have been able to cover all the aspects of the recovery of the breast reduction surgery. If you still have questions, you can uh, drop them in the comment box below. To watch the other videos uh, related to cosmetic surgeries, you can subscribe to our channel.